Harry's controversial trials. Facing the biggest divorce in his life. Welcome back to Scandal Royal Family, your source for the latest news on Kate Middleton and her family. In a shocking turn of events, Prince Harry finds himself accused of providing fake evidence in two trials, leading to major repercussions. Join me as we delve into the details of Harry's tumultuous journey, filled with drama and controversy. In a recent court appearance in London, Harry passionately expressed the torment he claims to have endured at the hands of English newspapers. Allegations include years of relentless harassment, invasive surveillance by private investigators, and phone hacking to uncover his deepest secrets. But amidst his demands for media accountability, some question the prince's hypocrisy. After all, Harry himself has published a lucrative book and participated in numerous televised interviews, revealing intimate details of his well-known family disputes. Is his plea for privacy truly genuine? Nonetheless, Harry's revolt has yielded unexpected results. He has severed ties with the monarchy, married an American woman with a previous divorce, and now finds himself testifying in court for the first time in decades. With Harry's reputation for theatricality and his union with a woman known for her dramatic nature, it's no surprise that their legal battle has reached fever pitch. At the High Court in London, Harry stands resolute. As fifth in line to the throne, he accuses Mirror Group newspapers of unlawfully obtaining and publishing highly personal information, a stance met with disapproval from within the royal family. Yet, Harry is not alone in his fight against the newspaper giant. His lawsuit has inspired a multitude of other claimants who allege phone hacking and invasive surveillance. Over the course of two extraordinary days, Harry meticulously scrutinizes 33 articles published between 1996 and 2011. He insists that the stories contained unlawfully obtained private material, fueled by his deep-seated animosity towards the British press, whom he holds responsible for his mother's tragic death. His mission? To dismantle and control their influence. However, Angela Levitt, a royal author who spent months with Harry while writing his biography, expresses her dismay at witnessing the prince's self-destructive behavior in court. She remembers him as a beloved figure, admired for his charm, intelligence, and wit. Today, a different Harry stands before her, bitter, pessimistic, and unable to move forward. During his testimony, Harry's emotions run high. Recalling his 2003 Australian Gap Year, he vividly recounts the media's relentless pursuit, made worse by a private investigator hired to shadow him. The invasion of privacy extended to his then-girlfriend Chelsea Davy, leaving them feeling constantly under scrutiny. Despite the prince's emotional testimony, Angela claims that he falls short in providing concrete evidence of unlawful data acquisition by the media. His responses are often vague and detached from specific details. This lack of clarity and entitlement may not bode well for his case. Furthermore, Harry's courtroom demeanor suffers a blow when inconsistencies arise, notably during his interaction with Paul Barrell, his mother's former butler. While expressing his disdain for Barrell's expose on Princess Diana, Harry paradoxically admits to desiring a confrontation in his autobiography. These contradictions raise doubts about his credibility and preparedness for the trial's high stakes. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that Harry's case holds merit. The British tabloids have already faced exposure for extensive phone hacking resulting in over a hundred million pounds in compensation to numerous victims. Among them, Alan Yentov, a BBC executive whose phone was hacked, aligns himself with Harry's legal team, confident in their chances of success. Yet, Harry's legal battles are not his sole concern. Rumors of strains in his marriage surface, fueled by reports of a West Hollywood hotel room being kept available. While speculation circulates, only time will reveal the truth behind these allegations. Lady Colin Campbell, an authority on royal relationships, recognizes the signs of a potential breakup. 
having experienced her own failed marriage to the 11th Duke of Argyle. She predicts that Meghan Markle may decide she no longer needs Prince Harry, leading to the end of their fairy tale union. As the story unfolds, it's evident that this is only the beginning. More claimants step forward with their own stories, and the legal battle continues to unravel. Prince Harry's future remains uncertain, with both his legal battles and personal life hanging in the balance. Thank you for watching this captivating video. I hope you found it engaging and informative. Please share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Scandal Royal Family for future updates. Until next time.